Good morning, everybody. It's Rondia Verdejo here with Fit to Live by Vets. And today is Saturday and it is the boot camp. And guess what? It is Savage Saturday. So I'm inside my complex's gym and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So thank you all for joining us today. I do have a guest with me. She is um, gonna join us and just hang out over there. She's kind of shy. <laughs> So today we're gonna go ahead and get started with our knee hugs. So our right knee or left knee, whichever one. Hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds and then we'll switch to the other side. Hope everybody's doing good on this Savage Saturday. It rained here in Virginia, switch to the other side. So we're inside today because the grass is wet outside. Normally we're outside. So we'll just hold that and then we'll switch again to the other knee. Knee hugs, pull it up as far as you can to your chest. Hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds. Watch your balance. <laughs> and then switch to the other side. 10 to 15 seconds. And then we'll do our hamstring scoop. So we'll start with whatever leg you want to start with. Your leg, your leg is out front. Your toe is pointed up. Scoop down. Stretching out that hamstring. Switch sides. Switch out that hamstring. Stretch out that hamstring. Switch sides. Just scooping down, stretching out the back of the leg. Put that tension on the back of that leg. That heel is on the floor with that toe pointed up. Keep stretching those hamstrings. One more on the other side. Okay, we're gonna do a plank walk out. So we're just gonna walk out. Plank it out and come back up. All the way up. Good. Plank walk out. Let's do that about three more times. Good. One more. Come back up. Let's do some leg swings, one leg at a time. Stay on one leg, one side. Just swing it up. Step it back, swing it up as far as you can go. This is your workout on this Savage Saturday. One more, then we'll switch sides. Let's switch sides. Getting the body warmed up. Warming up is really key. Two more on this side. One more. Okay, we'll do our arm swings. Just kind of swinging it up. Right in front of you. Savage Saturday. That means we gotta get it in. We only get a few minutes together. All right, let's swing them across our chest. All right, let's swing it backwards. We're gonna step a little bit wider, then shoulder and hip width apart, and we're just gonna hinge at the waist. Flat back, come back up. Do that about five times. Flat backs when you go down. Really concentrate on the waist. I mean the, the hips for the hip hinge. One more. All right, let's come down and stretch out our legs. We're gonna get into the kneeling hip stretch. If you have a mat, put a mat underneath your knees. Lean forward. The other arm can go over your head. Lean to the side. Look straight forward. <laughs> Kind of lean. If you want to lean, hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Switch sides. That kneeling hip flexor stretch. Lean. Arm over head. Oh yeah, lean, lean, lean into it. Come on, Savage Saturday. All right, let's come up. Then march it in place. Anytime during the workout, you need to just kind of bring your heart rate down. You're just gonna kind of march in place until you get your heart rate ready. If you need to step out of the game, march in place. 
come back into it. Keep marching in place. So today what we have is like a series of a variety of exercises and they'll just keep repeating and then we'll repeat those circuits two to three times depending on our time frame. So I'm just gonna give you a little taste of some exercises. You can do these at home, you can do them outside, you can do them in the gym, wherever you have enough room, in your living room, wherever you have enough space, okay? So the first exercise is 15 squat jumps, then we're gonna do five push-ups, then 25 high knees. Of course, I know I'm gonna forget that, that's why I have my little cards. So the first exercise is 15 squat jumps, and then five push-ups, and you'll see the, the pattern will repeat. So 15 squat jumps, let's go ahead and get into it. Squat, jump, 15. Good, five push-ups. Wide on your knees, however you gotta do it, let's get them. Okay, 25 high knees, let's go.
March it out. Catch your breath. Get some water. Towel off. Whatever you need to do. We got that one minute wall sit. Catching my breath too. Then we'll have five push ups, 25 high knees. That'll be the end of circuit one. So now we have that one minute wall sit. If you don't have a wall to lean your back on, just squat, hold. So for one minute, you're just gonna squat, hold. If you have a wall, we're gonna go. In three, two, one, let's go. Squat as low as you can go to hold it for one minute. Try to brace your core, keep your core tight. Now, a lot of women, that's kind of our weaker area. Although we have babies, we just got to work on it. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Breathe. Catch your breath. If you can go lower, I challenge you to go lower. It's Savage Saturday. If you can't go lower, or you're not ready, if you don't want to, this is your workout. Stay right where you are. We have about 18 more seconds. See how fast that one minute went? I can feel it right here. Yes, I can. In my quads. Two, one, done. All right, march it out before we get into those five push-ups. March it out, five push-ups. And then 25 high knees, and we'll repeat that circuit all over. Five push-ups. Let's go. Take your time. Get into it when you're ready. Five. March it out. 25 high knees. We'll take a water break, quick water break. Towel lock. We'll repeat that circuit again. 25 high knees. Let's go. Get them up as high as you can. Good. Good. All right. Let's take a quick break. Grab some water. Thank you. visitor. She was in here hanging out on the elliptical. So I invited her inside. So we're going to complete this circuit again. So we have 15 squat jumps. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 15 squat jumps. March it out. Five push-ups. I said towel off and I didn't even towel off. <laughs> Sweat just pouring. Five push-ups. Let's go. Twenty-five high knees on this savage Saturday. Boom. Seven burpees. Catch your breath. March it out. Seven burpees. Let's get it. Come on. March it out, catch your breath, 10 lunges. I'm gonna stay on my, working on my side, my lateral lunges, working on my saddlebag, my hip area, in here for lateral lunges. 10, so that means five on each side. Let's go. 
You can do lunges any way you want, forward or reverse. Or stay with me on those ladder. I'm gonna do one more because I lost count. Seven squats. And then we have five push-ups. Seven squats. Set it up. Let's go. And you don't have to go all the way down. Seven. Five push-ups. Then those 10 lunges. Then five more push-ups. So we got five push-ups. Let's go. Ten lunges. And then five more push-ups. Ten lunges. Five. Five on the other side. Then we have five push-ups. The pattern is repeat, repeating. Then we'll have seven squats. So five push-ups. March it out. We should be good and warm. We're on the second round. Seven squats. Let's go. Seven. Watch it out. 15 squat jumps. And then that one minute wall sit. 15 squat jumps. Hopefully you're joining me and getting this workout in as well. 15 squat jumps. Let's go.
March it out. Towel off. Get some water. <laughs> Gonna follow my own instructions. March it out. March it out. So, we're gonna complete this one more time. To keep us on time, the first two circuits took us 10 minutes to complete. So this is, we're already at 20 minutes. So if we complete it for another round, that's 30 minutes. So that's a 30 minute quick workout that you can do on Saturdays or any day of the week. When you have a limited amount of time, and you still want to get in your workout, you're just really busy and you need an energy, you can do one round. That's 10 minutes. Who doesn't have 10 minutes in their day to complete a workout just for you or do something just for you? It's part of self-care, self-love, okay? All right, so we have those 15 squat jumps. Last round, five push-ups. And another thing is you can do this circuit as many times as you want. Let's say you have an hour you can do it seven times. Just complete it for that hour. You have an hour and you want to just challenge yourself. You can do this 10 minute circuit as many times as you want. As you see, it took us 10 minutes to complete one circuit. So we have 15 squat jumps. This will be our last round. All right, let's get it. 15 squat jumps. Come on. Good. March it out. Catch your breath. Five push-ups. Then those 25 high knees. Whenever you're ready, get back into it. Excuse me. Five push-ups. Then 25 high knees. Five push-ups. Let's go. Good. 25 high knees. Then those seven burpees. You notice we only do burpees one time? Interesting. I'll remember that next time. <laughs> 25 high knees. All right. Slow it down. Seven burpees. Catch breath. Seven. Let's go. Come on, stay in the game. March it out, cut your breath. 10 lunges, and then those seven squats. I'm gonna stay with my lateral lunges today. Catch my breath. 10 lunges, five on each leg. Come on. When you're done five on each one side, switch to the other side. Come on. Good. March it out. Seven squats. Then five push-ups. Seven squats. I have an imaginary line here. Actually, it's a real line, and I just use it as my guide for my toes. Seven squats. Squeeze on the way up. Knees do not go over the toes. That way you're forcing your butt back. Seven of these. Good. Five push-ups. Let's get it. Boot camp, minimal rest. Let's go. Catch your breath. 10 lunges again. And then five push-ups again. 10 lunges. Bobble each leg. 
Let's get it. Come on. Five on each leg. If you've been listening to me on several videos, you know alternative moves to do for lunges, for any of these exercises. And I probably did more than five on each leg. We have five push-ups. Let's go. You can go on your knees as well. Five push-ups. Let's go. Almost done. Seven squats, then 15 squat jumps. Seven squats. I'm gonna go plie this time. Work the inside of my thighs. Seven of these. Then 15 squat jumps, you catch your breath. Then that one minute wall set. So 15 squat jumps. Let's go. March it out. Deep breath in. Pull it out. All right. One minute wall sit. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Last one. Then we have the five push ups and the 25 high knees. And we're done. Hold your core, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Deep breath, blow it out. Challenge yourself to go lower if you can. All right, halfway there. A little more than halfway there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. My quads are on fire as well. Squeeze your core. Nine seconds. Hold it. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, done. Oh, I was sliding from all the sweat. March it out. Five push-ups, and then 25 high knees. Catch your breath. If you need to towel off, like me, and I'm gonna keep it going. I don't keep you long. Five push-ups. Then those 25 high knees is, not, is last. Five push-ups. Let's go. Stay in the game. Slow it down. Go to your knees if you need to. Woo. 25 high knees. The last exercise. Catch your breath. I just have sweat everywhere. 25 high knees, last exercise. Let's get it. Ah, all right, let's march it out, side to side. Done. And that was 28, 47. So not right at 30, but I was speeding it up a little bit. So if you're resting more, it will be right at that 30 minutes for three rounds. Three rounds, three circuits, three times through this um, workout will give you 30 minutes. If it's about 10 minutes, give or take. Might be a little longer or a little faster. All right. Just march it side to side. Kind of like the grapevine in the aerobics class. Okay. Let's start with our knee hugs. Bringing your knee up to your chest as far as you can. Hold it. If you can't bend your knee, don't worry about it. Just leave your leg down, lean a little forward, okay? 
twist your ankle or rotate your ankle. One direction, we go in the opposite direction. Let's switch knee hugs. Switch it out. Knee up to your chest as far as you can get it. Rotate those ankles. Let's rotate in the opposite direction. All right. Let's do our hip hinge. Hands on your waist. Lean down. And I want you to have flat backs. And up. Five, about five times. Five reps. That's two. Got to cool you down. So you can get on with the rest of your Savage Saturday. One more. Okay. Let's do our calf stretch. Staggered legs. Make sure your feet are flat, grounded on the floor, and lean forward. You're stretching out the back of your calves. Okay. Lean forward. Lean into it. That's the best way to stretch your calves. Or you can lean against the wall, your hands on the wall. Foot forward. Right? That knee is 90 degrees. Lean into it. You can really feel that calf stretch back here. So that's another way you can stretch your calves. Hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. I recommend 30. And switch. You got it. You're going to stretch those hamstrings. Hamstring scoop or you can just lean forward, really lean, and you can feel the, the stretch more so in your calves, but if you lean a little bit more forward, you can feel it in those hamstrings, the back of the thighs, stretching it out. We don't work that much of our hamstrings, so we really must um, pay attention to stretching it out because that's a good stretch for that particular muscle group. Okay, let's switch sides. Um, a good hamstring exercise if you're not in a gym is if you have a ball or if you have um, a bench, you can set your feet, your, your heels on and just try to lift your booty up and curl. That'll work the back of your hamstrings as well. Lean, lean, lean. You can feel that real pull back there. I don't like to use the word pull, but you can feel that stretch in the back of your thighs. Okay, let's stand up tall, clasp your hands over your head, stretch it out. You can even come up on your tippy toes. Good 30 minute workout. Can continue with the rest of your Saturday. Woo. Got your heart rate up, got it pumping. Okay, clasp the hands behind you. Lean forward, flat back. Lift those arms and hands all the way up to the sky, keeping your head above your heart, so that means keeping your head up. Make your knees coming up. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Savage Saturday. I hope y'all got something out of it, and I will see you at our next boot camp. Have a great Saturday, and thank you for joining me.